he learned the minimum. Now that I look at it, at that wrestling school, who really honestly taught Roma how to work was Mr. Fuji. He spent a lot of time with him, and he trained Roma. And he helped train me, too. I remember when Fuji watched Roma and I go over the top rope for the first time. He goes, who the hell taught you that? I said, Tony Altamar. That when you go over the top rope, you hug the top rope and land on the apron of the ring. He goes, no. You have to clear the whole top rope and go onto the floor. And I'm like, dude, how do you do that? And, you know, and he, he taught us. Fuji should get... 95% of the credit for training Paul Roma, because that's who trained Paul Roma. Yeah, not uh, not Tony Altamar. And you Mr. only hear the negative stuff about Mr. Fuji, which, which some of these rib stories I don't even know if I believe, like the cooking of the dog, but you always hear that he would rib the young the young guys, but you're saying he actually helped uh, you and Paul Roma. Oh, oh, listen, Fuji was in love with Roma. In love, he loved he loved them. You know, if you get Roma on a podcast, he'll tell you the Tiger Chung Lee story. You know what I mean? Um, Fuji watched out for him like Strongbow watched out for me. Fuji was Roma's Strongbow. You know what I mean? He he watched out for him. Fuji liked me too, and and yeah, he did a lot of ribs. Look, he padlock he put padlocks around every loop of my pants. I had to rip off every loop to get the, to put my pants on. You know what I mean? If he didn't like it, he'd shit in your bag. Um, but, but you, you know, Fuji was, you know, somebody got hot. At, I forgot who it was. Roma would know. Somebody got really hot at Fuji one night in the dressing room. And he, they, they, they went, go ahead. I'm going up to him. And somebody looked at him and said, do it. Go ahead. Go up to him. Go up to him. Slice you in a million pieces. He'll slice you in a million pieces right there. You got blades on him. He'll slice you to pieces right in this dressing room. Go ahead. Go up to him. He wouldn't go up to him. He wouldn't go up to him. You know, so it is. listen, it, it, as I explained to my students, it's all about respect. As I tell parents, when they bring underage kids in to join the school, when I say underage, they're 16, 17 years old. And if there's a behavioral problem, it'll get fixed. Because the respect required in professional wrestling, it pales in comparison to like martial arts. And that's supposed to be a very disciplined, you know, thing. Pales in comparison to the respect that's required in professional wrestling. And that's why Andre liked me. That's why Fuji liked me. Because you know what? I kept my mouth shut. I did my job. I didn't complain. 